Well, two up, four down. Suddenly, that's how the next crew rotation to the International Space Station will play out. All because of problems with the Boeing Starliner. Yeah, the problematic capsule flew Sonny Williams and Butch Wilmore to the space station, but because of bad thrusters and helium leaks, Starliner was not allowed to bring the astronauts back home. NASA decided Butch and Sonny would have to wait until next year to leave the ISS in a SpaceX capsule. That brings us to over the weekend when two instead of four members of Crew 9 arrived at Kennedy Space Center. New 6's James Barbero is at KSC, showing us how this mission will also make history for another major reason. So over the last four years, every SpaceX commercial crew launch has taken off from Pad 39A. For Crew 9, however, Nick Haig and Alex Gorbanov will be launching at Pad 40, SpaceX's other pad. The diminished crew of two arrived here at Kennedy Space Center on Saturday, on the runway, Nick was asked if he feels any extra responsibility, knowing now that his Dragon capsule is also a lifeline for Butch and Sonny. There have been a lot of changes to our particular spacecraft you know, crew, but the mission really hasn't changed. The mission hasn't changed for two and a half decades. It's to get up to the station and do, do research. And uh, that mission is bigger than any one cruise. Lift off of the Soyuz MS-10. Nick's career has included a lot not going to plan, too. In 2018, I followed when he and his Russian crewmate were ejected from a rocket after a launch failure. And we have the escape tower for the Soyuz, now jettison. Once Nick made it to space on his following mission, Station, this is Brad. How do you hear me? He talked to Brad Pitt. Hey, Brad, this is Nick. I've got you loud and clear. Welcome to the International Space Station. Brad was playing an astronaut in his latest movie, and after Nick had just spent 200 days in space, I'm he sure asked him about busy, getting homesick. Time, Seems appropriate to revisit home. now that Butch and Sonny will be missing the holidays. Being apart from your family is a challenge. One of the luxuries I think we have of working in low Earth orbit uh, close to the Earth is the amount of connectivity that we have, the ability to make phone calls, check in on a routine basis. The Crew 9 launch could happen as soon as Thursday afternoon at 2.05. Our coverage will continue then. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news 6.